Saturday morning. Welcome back to the channel. This morning, I am running to Charlton Park Run. Still feel a little bit tired, but let's see how we get on this morning. About halfway down to uh, Charlton, little stop off point here. Elton Park North Skyline. So basically, if it wasn't for them trees there in the mist, you're about to see the gherkin, the cheese grater in the main part of the city, Fenchurch Street there. And then to the left there, you've got the shard. But obviously, it's very misty, very murky, and can't see anything at all this morning. Oh, well, another busy day yesterday. Shifting more gravel, more blocks. Not as intensive as last Friday, but it's still, still a bit hard going in that heat. I'll tell you about the uh, race announcement in a second. I just want to say a big, a big thanks to all my subscribers out there. Really do appreciate the uh, the support. And uh, if you're not subscribing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. Won't cost you a penny, and it helps the channel a lot. Race announcement. Well, when I say race, <laughs> it's like it's a bit like me turning up this morning for a part one. With absolutely no intention of uh, hammering out a fast time because I'm still in that sort of transition period of getting over the two marathons and I really do need to get back into some uh, proper sessions so I need a few Tuesday nights sessions and a few couple long ones but I haven't got long because my next race drum roll <laughs> is the Saxon half marathon <laughs> Doesn't sound that wonderful, but it looks great. I've looked it up. It's very scenic along the coast, the Kent coast. Starts at Whitstable. I believe it's an out and back twice course, which will probably suit me this stage of my running. So I'm not quite sure yet on my race uh, plan. Am I gonna go for the sub 90, etc. I think I'll just gonna have to see how I feel over the next couple of weeks because it's not long, it's early June so I've only got about I'll put the date up on the screen for the Saxon half marathon in Whitstable in early June only 10 minutes spare I'm leaving it tight again a quick dash across Woolwich Common right, I just made it to Aha Street part of the London Marathon course not that long ago, coming along here I'm not going to make it or five minutes I think I might just do it but no time for recovery oh, fell out of breath before I even start the part one we have made it the course is here but I've got three minutes to get to the start but they're not gathering yet so I think I'm gonna make it made it a bit of, I don't know why I was panicking really they're all over there still not even at the start Try and get me, try and get me breath back. Oh. Quick briefing before we kick off. So welcome to Charles Parker number 138. Please give right, I've got a vision of what I yeah, look you, at is what you, I get. For, for me, you need one at the back. <laughs> I'm right, right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Get set, go! Oh. I feel like a hard slog getting down here. It's usually put a bit of pace in the legs, they suddenly feel a little bit fresher. I think it's three laps. Or is it two laps? I can't remember. Three laps. Thank you. So there we go. Number one lap done. Breathing's not too bad. Legs are nothing. Really, really tired. Thank you. Last lap. Actually, no one around me at all. It's a bit of a shame because it's nice when you're sort of uh, racing with someone or helping each other along, should I say. And so, oh, it's not a race, is it? Shouldn't have said that. It's not a race. Here we go. Last all section. 2101. Not too bad. Oh, it's gonna open this window up. Sorry, mate. 
Oh, 12. Is that say 12? Yeah, 12 again. If I'd known there was someone <laughs> close behind me, I would have pushed it a bit more. <laughs> I felt pretty good actually, I felt quite in control, that was the main thing. <laughs> I don't normally look over my shoulder either. <laughs> Well, that wasn't too sad, just over 21 minutes I believe. Going through uh, Charlton Village now. I'll show you the little, yeah, we're in the centre of London. We've got all these little villages. Obviously, back in the day, when London used to be a lot more spaced out. But this is actually still called a village. And this is basically all there is to it. Just a few shops, a co-op. A few pubs, it's a shame to see. The White Swan, all closed down now. Bugle pub, which is still going, and which is uh, back in the day, when I used to go to Charlton, this used to be our uh, match day haunt. Our match day venue for a, a drink, right. This is part of the Red, Red London Marathon course as well, in case anybody wants to know. So if you're on the Red Slope, you'd run along here. You drop down that road just over there. That takes you down to um, Charlton Station. So if you want to get a train here, it's uh, possible. You've got to walk up the hill. And it's right by Charlton Athletics Football Ground as well. And just here is uh, Charlton House, which I'll tell you a little bit now. The house was built in uh, 1607 to 1612 of red brick with stone dressing and uh, has an H plan layout. Uh, the interior features contemporary staircases, panelled rooms, ornamental ceilings and chimney pieces. Uh, it was built by the Crown to House Sir Adam Newton and his royal charge. He was then Dean of Durham and tutor to uh, Prince Henry, the son of James I an older brother of the future Charles I uh, of Greenwich Palace where their mother uh, lived much of the time was nearby but the prince died almost as soon as the house was finished in 1612. During World War I uh, Charlton House was the divisional headquarters of the Red Cross for Greenwich and Woolwich. Uh, in 1925 Sir Spencer sold the house and grounds to uh, the Metropolitan Borough of Greenwich. The chapel wing was uh, bombed during the Blitz and was subsequently rebuilt, uh, albeit with uh, non-matching bricks, such as were only available in the immediate post-war period. So that's today's history, bit of history, now time to get myself home. Up to uh, Woolwich Common now, just having a nice slow jog back like I was saying. Uh, legs do feel quite tired. I've got about three or four mile jog. I'll take it nice and easy, get that heart rate nicely to settle down before I get home, have a shower and uh, get my ears loaded this afternoon. So I've got that booked up and uh, yeah, so that's it for this week's video. Not quite sure where I'm going, <laughs> mind me step. So I'll catch you all on the next one. Don't forget, again, if you're not subscribing, Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.